hello friends and welcome to youtube channel freedom tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to configure the led matrix mac 7219 display on raspberry os bullseye 64 bit version okay but before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends before we start our practical, I just want to show you the Mac 7219 LED matrix display. As you can see, uh, the display available on Amazon.in. Mac 7219.LED matrix module 4 in 1 display. Uh, this is what the display which we are going to configure in today's session with the help of Raspberry OS Bullseye 64 bit version. Okay. So if you want to buy uh, this display, you can simply visit Amazon.in. Okay, that's it. Now we are going to simply uh, move on over uh, Raspberry OS 64 bit version. Okay, so here first what we want to do, we want to simply clone our repository. Okay, so I will mention the link. You need to simply open the link in the browser, then go to the code, copy the link. Okay, open terminal and we are going to clone our repository so sudo git clone and paste link hit enter it will clone our repository okay so friends we have successfully cloned our repository i am going to clear the screen if i run the ls command as you can see this is what our repository name raspbian bullseye max 7219 okay so we need to first change the owner so sudo uh, ch own space hyphen capital r pi pi this is what our user and group and we need to mention raspbian hyphen bullseye max 7219 which is our folder name just hit enter now clear the screen and we are going to uh, move inside our uh, folder which is raspbian uh, raspbian bullseye max 7219 now we are inside the folder and here it is as you can see we have install.sh file which install the packages uh, we need for configuring Mac 7219 display. Okay, so simply we are going to give the full permission. So sudo ch uh, ch mode 775 and install.sh hit enter. Now sudo dot slash install.sh hit enter. It will install the packages uh, for uh, Mac 7219 on Raspberry OS Bullseye 64 bit version. Okay. So uh, simply you can use uh, same repository for Raspberry OS Bullseye 32 bit also. Okay, 32 bit version, same repository, same packages. Okay, now we have successfully installed our packages. Now what we want to do here, I'm going to minimize the terminal and I'm going to open our file manager because uh, uh, first we want to uh, we want to see how we can connect our display with Raspberry Pi 4. Okay. So simply we need to go inside the folder and here I have uh, I have uh, saved the three images. So I am going to open one by one. Uh, this is the pins. Okay. This is the pins out. Okay. And image viewer also. This is what the back side of our matrix display. And this is what our Raspberry Pi 4 pins. Okay. So these three images. I'm going to explain you how you can uh, connect the display with the Raspberry Pi 4. So uh, as I told you, this is what our uh, LED matrix display backside panel and it has a uh, one, two, three, four, five pins. So CLK, CS, DIN, ground and VN, VCC, sorry, uh, not VNC, VCC. Okay. So how we can connect simple as you can see CLK. So CLK stands for clock. So CLK clock we are going to connect with Raspberry Pi 4 physical pin number 23. So physical pin number 23. So this is what our Raspberry Pi 4 pins layout. So in this, just a minute, we are going to make a bigger. Okay, I hope you all see clear now. So clock uh, CLK we are going to connect with the Raspberry Pi 4 physical pin number 23. So physical pin number 23 uh, as you can see GPIO 11 SCLK physical pin number 23. 
So we are going to connect the CLK pin with Raspberry Pi 4 physical pin number 23. Okay. Then we have a uh, next pin which is the CS pin. So CS pin as you can see CS stands for chip select. So CS pin we are going to connect with the Raspberry Pi 4 physical pin number 24. So again uh, physical pin number 24 is here as you can see 24 GPIO 8 ok 24 GPIO 8. So CS we are going to connect the CS with Raspberry Pi 4 pin number 24 ok. Then we have our next pin which is the DIN. DIN. So DIN stands for data in, data in, so DIN stands for data in, so DIN pin we are going to connect with the Raspberry Pi 4 physical pin number 19, 19. so 19 is here as you can see physical pin number 19, 19. okay and GPIO pin number 10 which is the MOSI, so physical pin number 19 we are going to connect DIN pin with GPIO uh, physical pin number 19, Raspberry Pi 4 physical pin number 19, okay. Then we have ground pin, so ground we are going to connect with the ground which is the uh, physical pin number 6, as you can see uh, the ground pin 6 and of course VCC which is the power pin we are going to connect with uh, Raspberry Pi 4 pin number 4 which is the 5 volt power pin, okay. So I have shared with you all the three images. This is what the pins, how you can connect uh, the display with the Raspberry Pi 4. There is a well, a good explanation how you can connect the pins with the Raspberry Pi 4. Okay, that's it. So uh, this is how you need to connect the display with the Raspberry Pi 4 first. Simple. Now we have uh, our display connect with the Raspberry Pi 4. Also we have successfully run our install.sh for installing the packages. Now simply we are going to open our Tony editor. So go to the programming Tony Python IDE and I am going to, I have already uh, opened the uh, uh, Python file but how to open it? Simple go file, click on open and we need to go inside the folder which we have closed. So inside the pi raspberry and bullseye max 7219 and mrix, this is what the Python file, click on ok. And then as you can see, I have already configured the program, okay. So uh, this is the packages, this is the by default module packages. Whenever you want to connect or whenever you want to configure the display with the Python, these six modules you need to simply copy and paste in your Python file by default because these packages or these modules not packages basically these modules we uh, we need for running our display okay so this is the modules then um, as i told you we are going to basically display our date time so from date time this is what our python module uh, from date time import date time then serial one more thing uh, i forget to mention here one more thing we need to uh, enable serial port okay so how to do this simply run the command sudo raspi hyphen config hit enter then we need to go here a third option which is the interface options okay interface options so come to the interface option hit enter then we need to enable spi as you can see i for spi so simply uh, come to the spi hit enter click on yes and then click on ok then finish that's it then basically uh, we enable the SPI port for our display ok so if you not enable the SPI port the display will not work ok so remember one thing uh, first you need to enable the SPI port as I mentioned here ok so we have uh, packages installed we have our uh, uh, display connected also we have enabled the SPI port ok that's it now uh, what we want to do as I told you uh, from date time import date time then as uh, as we import our SPI port so serial is equal to SPI port device 0 GPIO is equal to dupe this is what the by default uh, setting friends okay whenever you want to configure the display you need to simply copy this uh, these things and uh, this thing in your uh, file okay in your python program then 
uh, while true with canvas device as draw then this is what our uh, date time uh, function now is equal to date time dot now and show message device hello youtube this is what the message i want to scroll uh, on the display okay so this is what the message fill is equal to white a font font i have mentioned here a uh, uh, most useful fonts okay as you can see cp437 a uh, font tiny font then lcd font okay so i have select here a cp cp437 font inside that if you want to go with the tiny font you need to simply remove uh, the font and you need to mention this font okay so simply copy it copy and we are going to simply paste here in font we need to paste that's it then uh, display will show us a tiny font uh, format okay so uh, i like a cp437 uh, font so i am going to copy it again and i am going to change the tiny font with cp437 like this one okay so uh, this is what the font then scroll delay so uh, the scroll delay is basically the time uh, means when we want to scroll the text on our display it will it will basically uh, set the time how fast you want to uh, scroll that display how uh, not display basically the text so how fast you want to scroll the text this is what the timing so scroll delay you can change uh, uh, with uh, uh, 0.010 or uh, how how much you want to uh, scroll uh, a text fast on the display okay so right now i am going to set uh, 0.08 that's it so this is for this is for the scrolling text and this is for and uh, and this is for our uh, normal text means this text uh, will not scroll okay so uh, this is how you can you can basically uh, configure the display with the raspberry os bulls 64 bit version okay so now what i am going to do i am going to start my mobile camera and i am going to show you uh, how the program will work okay so friends first we are going to scroll the text and this is what our text as you can see hello youtube this is what our text which we are going to scroll on our display okay so show message device hello youtube fill wide font and the time as you can see 0 0.020 okay so uh, this is basically uh, speed up our scrolling text okay so now what i am going to do i am going to save the code and if i run the code and as you can see how fast uh, the text are scrolling on our display hello youtube okay so now what i am going to do i am going to slow up the scrolling text okay so friends now what we are going to do we are going to simply change the speed so, so 0 0.020 i am going to make 0 0.0 let's say 9 okay 0 0.09 if i save the code run the code now as you can see the scrolling text speed is changed now it's slow okay so this is how you can scroll the text on our display on max 7 to 19 display okay now i have a uh, comment the show message line and i have uncomment the text line okay this line will show the timing on our display as you can see uh, this is how we mentioned the strf time hours minute and second okay so now what i am going to do i am going to simply save the code and i am going to run the code okay and as you can see we have the current time on our display max 7 to 1 9 okay so uh, this is how you can friends uh, simply scroll the text you can show the date time with uh, the max 7 to 1 9 display okay so i hope you will learn something from this video we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye